Good evening, I'm Anna Manuel. It's estimated that over 100,000 people in the U.S. have sickle cell disease. And just recently, the FDA approved two new gene therapy treatments in hopes of curing the painful disorder. Tonight, Twin States News' Jacob Isrobi speaks with a sickle cell patient about the effect the disease has had on her life. Ruthie Willis is one of the many people in the U.S. that have been living with sickle cell disease. It's very hurtful, you know, I mean, it's painful. Having to live with such a painful disease from birth has not been easy. In fact, she says it's been heartbreaking. All I would do was cry. You know, seeing like if I would cry, that would help. Willis expressed how the disease makes her feel like a bother sometimes as she recalled childhood memories with her mother. But I never forget my mother, bless her heart. She was stay by my bedside, and she would always rub my arms, rub my leg, no matter what time of night it was. And when I wake up, she would be sitting right there. She also expressed the gratitude she has towards her family for helping her when in need. It helps when you have someone to care for you, you know, and take care of you. And I can say that I thank the Lord that for my family because from my sister to my brothers, they're all been there for me. As the FDA hopes these new treatments will cure the disease, Ruthie's heart goes out to the children dealing with the disease, having a one-year-old family member with sickle cell as well. I just, you know, pray that the FDA, you know, would help for the young kids that have sickle cell because it's, 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 it's a really painful disease. Sickle cell patients like Ruthie Willis are holding on to hope that one day this painful disease can be brought to an end. In Meridian, Jacob Azrobi, Twin States News.